So in this example, I'm actually going to show how to accept user input. Um, in the previous example that I showed, we added up two numbers, but the numbers were actually within the program. But obviously, you're going to want to make programs that are interactive with the user. Um, so I start off by just putting in a comment. By the way, when you see this little hashtag, that's a comment. And I'm going to create two objects, and they're going to be X and Y, and they're going to be used to accept user input. And so basically, I just prompt the the user um, uh, to let them know what exactly this program is going to be doing. So here we'll say this program will add two integers that you supply. So if we do X equals, and we're going to use this input command, which tells Python that we're going to be getting input from the user. We say enter first number. And then we'll also do another object, name it Y, and we'll say enter second number. And then what we'll do is we'll say sum is equal to X plus Y. And then we'll print the sum is. And we'll actually just go ahead and print out the sum. So let's go ahead and save this. And by the way, I developed this in the editor window, and I called this user input.py. You can give it any name that you want. And once we run this, we should have our shell window open up. And Again, it tells the user what this program actually does, and it says it's going to add two integers that you supply. So if we enter the first number, 4, and enter the second number, 6, then it tells us that our sum is 46, and obviously we know that that's not correct. Um, the reason why Python is doing this is because we really didn't tell it that the user was going to be putting in integers. Uh, so Python thinks that it's string, and when you put two strings together, basically it's taking... Uh, this first string of four and the second string of six and just putting them together just like it would put together um, any type of, of letters. So to fix that, we actually just need to go in and indicate to Python that this input that's coming in is actually going to be an integer. And in order to do that, you just put int in front of it. And that should fix it. Let's run it just to make sure. First number is 4, second number is 6, and now you can see that the sum is done. So it looks like that our program is working okay.